Hey guys, it's your girl Tower Crush back with another review, and this time it is for the Ovo, the Ovo BT. Oh my god, I love this episode. If you would please hit my subscribe button, thank you. Now, I don't know if y'all liked it or not because the last few episodes I've been miscalling it. If I didn't like it, y'all did. If y'all liked it, I didn't. I like this episode. <clears throat> now, we opened up and we saw Cal talking his stuff to, you know, Donald. Yeah, she ain't coming back. She ain't. This is me and you, boo. Let's build us a real relationship. Let's stop having all this toxicity. Let's build us a real relationship. I love you, Donna. I love you. <laughs> yes, about his little bags and he soon as he got the phone with his boo. His boo wife said, Was that my husband you was talking to? <laughs> you could have bought him for a quarter when he heard her voice. What are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? <laughs> she said, is that your stuff in the bag? He was like, yes. She said, oh, just put it with that other stuff right there. Put my stuff in a garbage bag? Yes. This is garbage. It doesn't belong here. I love that scene. That scene was everything, but I still think she's stupid for going back. I don't understand it. I think it was not very well thought out by her. Um... Especially if she didn't have a pistol in her in her waist, she definitely out of line because Cal want her dead for more reasons than one. So um, we're just gonna have to see how that plays out. But that scene was everything to me. Um, then we see that the first lady's having her conversation with Sam or whatever. But uh, Priscilla, remember she's caught up in in the crazy boy's room. She's caught up in his room and looking for. Her friend and he catch her he like what you doing in here and she's like mm. she's taunting him the whole way he gonna try to kill her <laughs> he gonna try to kill Priscilla watch because she gonna be problems she's gonna say I know what he what she said about her boyfriend you don't know nothing you gonna make up stuff try to make this this man be her killer no that didn't happen she never even signed out like why she didn't say that she said it's just not like her not to call in or show up for work why didn't you mention the fact that she never even clocked out you should have told him that you knew she never left. Tyler, you got to write this better now. You got to write the, you got to write this better, you know, and his his little attitude. Please don't let him please don't give us 15 seasons of him acting a uh, ass and not getting anything done to him. Please don't. I I I can't do it. You do it with every series. You let people just go amok and they get to continue to be amok. I need to see discipline and accountability, Tyler Perry. I need to see discipline and accountability by the end of this season. I need to see him doing something that says that he's not going to be able to continue. We can't base this whole series off of this little boy being a serial killer. Please, let's not do that. That's just my little petty request. I am a screenwriter and I can write episodes if you want my opinion and where, where these characters can go. I'd be more than happy to lend it to you. <sighs> Just pay me under the table or whatever. We can say you did it. We can say it was all you. It's all good, Tyler. <laughs> okay, so uh, Sam and the first lady, you know, he basically let her know he got he to see. He don't really think it's a good idea for him to be her personal assistant or whatever, but she's going to press and press and press until she gets him. Ellie definitely put her foot down to the president. Like, I'm not your whore. We do this on my terms. You don't just come and just unbutton your pants to me. And I guess she really thought that she... Did she really think that he liked her like that? She did know the other lady, Maxine, was... uh Not Maxine, but uh Linda wasn't ever going... I think I said name Linda. Wasn't ever going to go down on the president, you know, the previous press secretary. She was never going to do that. And so, yeah, it wasn't about you, baby. It was about your abilities to satisfy him. He could care less. He couldn't care less about the office of the presidency. Not, not, not one bit. So, sorry. He's just got the Bill Clinton thing. If y'all could see my cat, the way my cat is looking at me right now, he is like looking at me like, who does she think she is? But it's fine. As long as he doesn't try to chime in, because we're not talking to him. Okay, so um, 
We did see a corny scene between Max and Bobby where they both had the guns pointed at each other. Like, when are y'all going to get over that? Like, it was just it's overdone. Don't do it no more. Like, y'all got to know y'all own each other's team at this point. And the fact that Lily wouldn't call Bobby to let him know that she was okay is kind of strange to me. Like, why wouldn't you? You know he's going to be looking for you to call and let him know that everything is okay. So why wouldn't you make that call? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, Ellie and Alan. Alan is just really pushing it. I really feel like she needs to leave him alone because he's abusive. He's forceful. He's controlling. And he's very jealous. And she's definitely not the type of girl that you can just hold down like that. And she said it today. You was my ticket and I was your trophy. It worked, but it ain't working no more. So she don't want him no more. And I don't know what's going to happen with that. And then... Oh, we also saw that um, they know that Sharon is pregnant. Now, Sharon told Kareem that she was not pregnant. But <clears throat> Nancy found the uh, test in the in the garbage. And so Nancy's like, uh, Barry, why you didn't tell me Sharon was pregnant? And he was like, she ain't. And she was like, and now he thinking it's Kareem's baby and it's like, no, nah, she wouldn't do that. No, nah, she wouldn't do that. Yeah, but you did it. See, Barry, Barry is something else. He's something else. He he's, he needs to be on somebody's knee. He needs to spank him because Barry be coming for people. And, and Barry ain't all that bright as dong on self. So we'll see who she's pregnant by. I guess she got to know it's got to be, uh, it's got to be Barry's. I mean, she's not trying to leave and, and be with Kareem. Kareem offered her a place to stay. So we'll just have to see how that comes out. That was just kind of interesting how she just threw the test away and didn't cover it up for nothing. That was just weird to me. But, uh, and then we got to see Alan, Busted Cal, and Donald. Who, child, what is they going to do to him? You know, they kill people for less. Is they going to kill him? Baby. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> they will kill you. You you should have just shut the door like you didn't see nothing and, and made them guess who was at the door. They would have never, ever, ever been able to guess that it was me at the door. But I have a feeling that he knew they was in there kissing, and that's why he went in there so that he could have some leverage on something. So we're going to see because we know Alan is not, he's not a straight shooter at all. He's abusive towards his girlfriend, so we know that he's not, he ain't no good guy like that. So he, I could see him being calculated as well. Um, I thought it was funny how Sam ran to the kitchen to see about the tea and going to pour it out <laughs> and ask Richard to make some more tea and make it fresh and clean out the pot real good. He really think his wife going to try to kill her, which she probably is, but it remains to be seen. We can't really say that. But I thought overall this episode was very, very good. I like the way... He's kind of honing in the storyline a little bit and it's starting to make a little bit more sense and being a little bit, just a little bit more organized. And I, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the editing, the, the execution. I have not been this happy after watching the episode of The Oval since it came on. So I, this might be, it just might be my favorite episode. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think down in the comments. If you haven't already, hit my subscribe button for me. That is my $5.02, and I'm saying peace. <laughs>